I'm right here on the edge of the Octavaha County Lake where the county supervisor told me that they have actually taken water levels today and they measured and it says that the water level is down almost three and a half feet from Tuesday. Now the supervisor and other county officials say that there's a lot more in store for the Octavaha County Lake, but for now everything is moving in the right direction. I was hoping and praying that it would not, uh, you know, break, that it would hold. Mm -hmm. and God answered our prayers. People living near the Octibaha County Dam are breathing a sigh of relief after the Octibaha County Emergency Management Team announced the progress about the break in the Octibaha County Dam. Linda Turner Edmond has been living near the Octibaha County Lake for almost 65 years and says evacuating would have been a hassle. It's my mother-in-law is in a uh, wheelchair and everything and we didn't want to have to get up in the middle of the night trying to leave in case we did have to leave. But she says thanks to the quick action of the Octibaha County EMA office, she won't. District 3 County Supervisor Marvell Howard says he's more than pleased with the dam's progress. The lake level has dropped some three and a half, three, three and a half feet uh, since Tuesday. We've put out uh, some 1200 sandbags uh, this week and uh, the infected area has not moved uh, since first first uh, notice. The county engineer reported the goal was to get the lake's water levels down to a safe zone of five feet and with new more durable pipes being installed to help pump out more water. Howard says the county's long term goal is to drain the lake completely. The whole thing that that's the goal so that we can get in and, and, and take out the, uh, the, the the outlet uh, tower that's over in the lake. So we've got to drain it so we can take that completely down to the ground. And though some residents hope the decision is not permanent, they're just happy to be getting back to their normal routine. It makes me feel great. Makes me feel great. Kind of felt that uh, they would handle things. Now, the county EMA just released a statement in the last few minutes saying that the county engineer came by and, survey, and surveyed the damage, and they have now downgraded the classification to residents from a warning to a watch status. So uh, that's more good news. And more good news uh, the Red Cross shelter that they set up for people that were evacuating has closed its doors. They closed at noon, but they will remain on standby just in case people need to evacuate to there with Thursday's rain coming in. For now, we're live in Octavia County. County, Sydney Darton, WTVA 9 News.